G'day there, Ray here. A lot of people show an interest in astrophotography and want to know what sort of equipment they'll need to get into this amazing hobby. Here's a quick look at the sort of gear you'll ultimately want to end up with. So you might save some money by going straight to the good stuff rather than starting on the cheap and then constantly updating. The first and most important part of your kit is the mount. The mount is the device we use to track the night sky or more correctly to counteract the Earth's rotation about its axis as it winds its way through the cosmos. The mount facilitates the long exposure pictures or subs that later get stacked and stretched into vivid celestial masterpieces. You want your mount to be able to carry as big a payload as you can afford. This one is a Skywatcher EQ6 capable of carrying 20 kilos. I only have my little Red Cat 51 on it for now, up the top there, but I know it can handle a 10 inch F4 Quattro reflector. I planned ahead when I purchased this mount because I want to put a big 10 inch Quattro right up there. Next you can see my OTA or optical tube assembly. That's my main imaging telescope through here. This one is a William Optics Red Cat 51, which for several reasons is perfect for beginners. It's a wide field refractor, which makes it easy to find objects in the night sky. It has a Petzvale 4 lens design, so you don't need a coma corrector or field flattener for sharp stars right out to the corners. The monster range of the focuser also make the Red Cat 51 very forgiving when it comes to attaching different devices. It comes with a batten off mask built right into the lens cap, which is a focusing aid, basically the minimum required for capturing sharp images. This Velcro attachment up here is a dew heater. It warms the front lens a little above the ambient temperature to stop condensation forming. Condensation or water drops on your front lens will definitely spoil your images. I pop another one on the guide scope up here in winter but here in summer now, it's, it, it, I don't need it. I don't bother at this time of year. My main camera is an Astro modified Canon 700D. There it is there. And having a look at the back here, it's got a flip screen. Down here I've got a, instead of a battery, I plug it into my power supply with a dummy battery. This goes into a dummy battery here. You can see the wire coming out the side. So I don't have to, so I don't have to change the batteries at night. The flip screen is very handy. If you can afford it, get a model with a flip screen. And this thing gets in all sorts of strange positions. And with the flip screen, you can usually twist it to, you can orient that to, to get you out of trouble. Over here, this is a wife, uh, a Raspberry Pi mini computer controller it's called ASI Air Plus and everything plugs into this just about um, you can see it's got four USBs here one goes to the mount to control the mount one goes to the camera one goes to this small imaging camera or guide camera sorry this camera and small telescope actually help the mount track the sky precisely the mount will only do a good job but with with auto guiding it'll do an excellent job this little device here is an electronic automatic focuser it's got a gear arrangement set up to the telescope focuser and basically what it does is it takes a series of photos of, uh, of a bright star and then it compares the photos and the photo that has the smallest star uh, is is the number on the focuser that is in focus so if you've got big a little bit smaller a little bit smaller smallest a little bit bigger a little bit bigger the smallest one where the focuser was set for that test shot that will be the perfect focus much quicker and easier than using the batten off mask up here this is a gun sight i use that to look at stars when i'm aligning early on getting set up but also once the telescope is imaging so I turn that on and have a look to where it's exactly pointing and see if I can see the 
where it is with my binoculars. Um, you're going to need a power supply. You want to make sure that your mount has its own power supply. So this little, this thing is a um, just a jump starter for a car for a V8, and it's got two cigarette plugs. One I power the mount, and one powers the ASI up there, and at the back, like I said, the I use the USB port to power my uh, power my camera. That saves me mucking around with batteries. So, in a nutshell, if you're a beginner and you want to get into it, you're going to end up wanting something like this kit as a minimum. This is this is um, pretty high tech, and I'll give you a look at some of the photos I've taken. Um, I hope you enjoy it. If uh, if you don't mind, subscribe to this channel and uh, clear skies. Thank you.